Hey everybody, it's Gamaragi. We're back with Puzzle Agent 2. Last time we talked to Sheriff Bog and Glory Dabner. We found out some interesting things. Maybe the Brotherhood is involved in these disappearances. And, uh, we also were able to decipher the letter um, that this Melkorka teeter daughter left. And she said that, uh, I think she said. Isaac Davner does not exist or something? So, yeah. Let's go find out what that means. Assuming Sheriff Bog wasn't sending me on another wild goose chase, I've arrived at the house of the mysterious Melkorka. I'm still not sure how she ties into the disappearances, but she's the only lead I've got. According to the Sheriff's description, she sounds like a recluse. Probably the town's resident gossipy spinster. Good evening, Agent Tethers. I see you found my note. Bah. Quickly, come inside before they see us. I see you're a puzzle fan, Miss Teeter Daughter. I dabble, keeps the brain sharp. And my friends call me Korka. I would hope you're a friend, Agent Tethers. Can I get you a drink? Or a crossword? Just the facts, ma'am. Oh, man. Tethers. Better watch yourself, buddy boy. Puzzle crazed lady. There's two puzzles over here. Well, look at what we have here. What do we have here? What are the next two digits in this sequence? Oh, I hate these so much. They always trip me up. <laughs> 3, 1, 31, 41, 59, 26. Oh, God. That's 10, 18. And then it goes down? What on earth? 3, 4, 5. Oh my. Oh my god. You know what this is? This is pi. 3141592653. Pi Thank god I memorized as much pi as I did. <laughs> uh, I think that's what that is. We will soon find out. Ho oh yeah! Mm, that's good pie. Well, that wasn't so hard. Actually, that was kind of tricky. A puzzle. Oh my god. And the first box is a penny, the second box is a dime, and the third box is a penny and a dime. What coin goes in the fourth box? Oh. Uh. Uh Penny, dime, penny, dime. Something. Uh, jeez, look at the faces on these. <laughs> That's Sacagawea. That's awesome. Alright, so this is one cent. This is ten cents. This is eleven cents. No. One, ten, eleven. That sounds like binary. Zero, one, one, zero, one, one. What comes after that. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Dude, I used to know binary. <laughs> A little. Well, it's only zeros and ones, so if they're already up to one one, they gotta go to the next digit, right? 
which would be one zero zero dollar. Oh my god. That's a clever puzzle. That is freaking crazy, man. Man, they really expect you to know a lot of stuff to solve these. You have to know the digits of pi, you need to know binary. Like, what? Good lord, man. Tricky stuff. Well, that takes care of that one. Is that the only puzzle there? What's this? You mentioned a note. Are you the one who slipped a note with a puzzle under my door? Forgive the theatrics, Agent Tethers. I knew your reputation, but I had to be sure you had what it takes. Oh, I guess I clicked on her instead. Okay. <laughs> your puzzle had a list of all the missing people in Scoggins for over a decade. I've been keeping track. Somebody has to. There's a name I didn't recognize. Halder Magnuson. Haldor. He was my partner. Business partner? Eight years ago, he went into the woods. Never came back. Oh. I like the way she says Haldor. Dor, dor, That's hard to do. It's really hard to do. <laughs> Isaac Davner. What does this mean? Isaac Davner does not exist. Finally, you're asking the right questions. Okay, Oracle. Test pilot Ed Davis? But that's... That's Isaac Davner. And look at the date of that article. 16 years ago. And that's just a few weeks before the date of the first missing persons case. Exactly. What? So Isaac Davner isn't Isaac Davner? Is Ed Davis? <laughs> okay. How are the hidden people tied into all this? Seriously, Agent Heathers? Maybe I misjudged you. Are you here to investigate a crime? Or to chase after forest gnomes, like those gullible fools in the Brotherhood cult? Well, I'm here to chase gnomes, I think. None of this explains how Bjorn and his Brotherhood cult is involved. Think clearly, Nelson. That lodge has been a part of the town for decades. The disappearances started only 16 years ago. There is only one explanation. Ed Davis? Your Isaac Davner is a serial murderer. But the hidden people, I saw them take Isaac away. Smokescreen. Davner disappeared just as you were getting too close. You're the only one who can find him and stop him. I don't know. I don't think he was uh, really involved there. Well, maybe. I don't know what to think. I need some gum. Let me see your map. I have marked approximately where in the woods Halto disappeared. Once the FBI showed up, Ed Davis ran back into hiding. But... You want to find Isaac Davner? Head back to the scene of his crimes. All right, I'll do it. Someone has got to investigate. Come back whenever you find something, Nelson. I'll be up. I can stay up all night. Well then. <laughs> that was awesome. That's, that's like how I would react to that. Well then. Okay. So, I guess this is where her partner disappeared. Whatever that means.
I've arrived at the point Corka marked on my map. No signs yet of anyone here. Some footprints there, and some gum. Someone's chewing gum in the middle of the woods. That, that's Edvard, one of the members of the Brotherhood cult. Got to find out what he's... Run, Nelson, run! <laughs> Help Nelson navigate a path through the woods to Edvard by arranging sections of the forest. Make sure there's a complete path from Nelson to Edvard. All pieces must be placed when submitting. Uh... Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. I gotta make a puzzle out of this? Put all the pieces out and see what we got here, okay. So... It's that way, and this... Way. No, that won't work. Okay, so he has to leave through this tiny hole. So. Let's put... Hava? <laughs> what is this red stuff? Yeah, man. Wow, that was pretty lucky. <laughs> Keep going the wrong way, so maybe not. Sweet! Non-toxic. <laughs> what are you doing in the woods, Mr. Edvard? gave me the slip and now I have no idea where I am I'll have to find my way back to uh, something in this tree I found, I can't believe it, but I found the body of an astronaut. I don't want to, but I've got to see. An astronaut body? What in the world? Is that all there is here? Okay. I didn't hear you come in. <laughs> you didn't hear him go and come in screaming? Oh my god. That's, his scream is uh, hilarious. I love it. Board games! And they're all for two players only! Marry me. 
Oh, I, I mean, you should try the new uh, strategy game, Marry Me. It, it, it's fun for the uh, whole family. <laughs> Two player board games. Oh my god. Is this the latest from Hanji Monosaki? Rated four dragons, they said. Monosaki sensei's lost his edge. I thought it was kind of tricky. Wow, another reference to that guy. Yeah. He must have uh, paid for some advertising or something. <laughs> okay, how you doing? I went to the spot you marked in the woods. Did you find that, Davis? More than that. I found an astronaut! An Edward. I saw one of Bjorn's cult members out there. Probably covering up the scene of the crime. Why now? Bjorn must have seen us talking. Or the sheriff. It's a conspiracy. Conspiracy? Ooh, she likes that word. The hidden people. The forest is full of them. Staring, whispering. You've been in Scoggins too long. You're chasing shadows. Well, no, they're actually red. red little, little red no, Yeah, they, they, they're not quite shadows. I found the body of an astronaut. An astronaut. Like in my dreams, but real. As real as the hidden people? Yeah, exactly. You don't believe me. The hidden people, the Brotherhood, the astronaut. It's all connected. Hmm. Maybe you have uncovered something. Where did you see this astronaut? It was... I don't know. I got turned around, but I know I saw it. If you did see something, there's nothing you can do tonight. You're right. I'll check it out tomorrow. Good night. A night's rest is exactly what I needed to clear my head. Even in daylight, I'd never be able to find that astronaut on my own. But I can pay a visit to the lodge to find out what the Brotherhood was doing in the forest. Oh, Groundhog Day. Oh, maybe not. Daryl's not right there. <laughs> that same guy skis by. Okay. Alright, let's go talk to the Brotherhood. Of course, they have the creepy music still. Oh, boy. <laughs> no, it, it, it isn't right. No, this, this isn't right. Nelson Tethers, FBI Puzzle Research. I have some questions. No, 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 they aren't hangered. Uh, what? Hidden people are angered? Picking up gum while I'm questioning what's going on? Is there a puzzle here? The Lodge members practically worship the hidden people. It's that same picture from the chairs. Oh yeah, that's their that's their symbol. That's right. Security camels, camels, soup cans. At the Scoggins Ice Rink, lost their timestamps. Figuring out the proper order of these photos. That's another one of the photo ones. Okay. Oh my God, the ice cleaners getting rid of the tracks. Oh my God. He's not clearing any tracks in this one. Clear that one, then he clears this track. And then someone skates by and he cleans that track. And someone skates by. Okay, that looks right. Yes. Let's do it. 
beads and cold bread. Bum, bum, up. You. Your money A plus puzzle top agent, okay? Is that the only puzzle in here? Dude, this bear looks like a giant rat or something. Uh, how you doing there? Enough's enough, Bjorn. I demand that you answer my questions. <laughs> Angry whispers. <laughs> Brotherhood is broken. <laughs> no, no. Can't pull this small man. Hmm. He's not being evasive. He he's gone insane. Help Nelson regain Bjorn's sanity by shining the light of reason to the core of his brain. Avoid green synapses at all costs. Arrange the mirror so that the light of reason hits all L-shaped pieces of sanity before it finally reaches the blue core of Bjorn's brain. Light entering a piece of sanity will redirect the light by 90 degrees. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. The light of reason. So I have to go through all these sanity whatevers. Okay. Up and up. It's gonna go up here, over here, up here, over here. And I guess go down. And then uh, we'll straight in. Okay, well that worked out. Sweet! Reason, fool! Thank you, Agent Tethers. You're going to have to explain what's going on. I will try. I know you're behind all of the missing person cases in Scoggins. No, that's not true. Then why did I see your man Edvard in the woods last night? He was searching for Shielder. The other cult, uh, member of the Brotherhood? Yeah, he went to commune with the hidden people, never returned. Now he is lost. So that's how you pronounce that guy's name? Shialdar? <laughs> Jeez. Why were you trying to keep me from finding Isaac Davner? He was chosen. The hidden people whispered to him. He had to listen. Where is he now? He is lost, like the others. The hidden people are angered. Why are they taking everybody? Why are they mad? How do you talk to the hidden people? I do not. They choose. I have never seen them. He's never seen the hidden people? Oh, huh. well, that makes tethers kind of important then. Well, if you're not behind the disappearances, who is? I do not know. You must find them, Agent Tethers. Bring them home, all of them. Shielda, Edvard, Isaac, Olaf. I'll do what I can. Who's Olaf? Olaf Velhaven. The first man lost to the forest many years ago. Where was he seen last? In his cabin in Sesame Woods. Bjorn insists the Brotherhood isn't behind the disappearances. For some reason, I believe him. I'm relieved they're not trying to kill me, but that only leaves me with one theory. Isaac Davner really is a serial murderer. Bjorn's pointed out the cabin of Olaf Velhoven on my map. Maybe I'll find some leads there. Man, so the Brotherhood's not behind these disappearances. 
Could it be the hidden people? That's what I think. Looks like neither of these vehicles have been used in months. Okay. Olav Velhaben. Velhaben. Yet another door with a whole bunch of locks on it. And a tree. Oh. <laughs> he sighs. Nelson needs to get into Olaf's cabin with the door sealed. With only one cut, several to... Okay. Alright, this is a little more straightforward. Okay. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it looks like it'll work. Those are tricky, because you, like, you just nick the end of them and stuff. Sweet! The lock on Olaf's cabin was a little tricky. Who or what was he trying to keep out? The cabin seems untouched. I must be the first person here in years. Apparently, Olaf Velhaven had an interest in astronomy. There's got to be something in his journals or equipment that gives a clue to his disappearance. Oh, man. Wow, what a crazy place. Oh, that's right, the tree's knocking the wall over. <laughs> Everything's on a slant. That's crazy. Okay, let's see what we got. Uh, many puzzles. Many, many puzzles. How could one man possibly need this many socks? It is an awful lot of socks. Right. Olaf seems to have been particularly interested in lunar eclipses. Each moon emits a total of 10 lunacy watts. The wattage is evenly distributed to each lunar ray the moon emits. How many lunacy watts are received by the Earth? Okay. So, by the Earth. Okay. So there's five. Five is ten. Plus ten. Twenty. Twenty? Yes. I think so. Let's do it! <laughs> Lunacy wants. <laughs> Mole free! Sweet! Olaf Velhoven kept a record of the time and date of every penumbral eclipse for years. Why was he so interested in lunar eclipses? Total eclipse of the sun. I wonder if Olaf moved to the wilderness to better see the stars. Click the center of the circles to rotate them. Arrange the objects so the suns are on the left, earths are on the right, and the moons are where the circles overlap. Why are there so many moons and earths <laughs> and suns? Okay, suns are on the left, earths are on the right. Suns are on the l oh my Oh god yeah. oh, No Did I really just solve it? <laughs> oh my god, I got really, really lucky with that. Suns are on the left, right? Uh Yeah. Sweet. Wow, that worked out really well. <laughs> I thought that was going to be a lot harder. Okay. Whew. I got really lucky. <laughs> okay. Aha! 
But why would an astronomer come to Scoggins to do his research? Because... It's in the woods? I don't know. That's a good question. This looks like some kind of mathematical formula. Can you figure out the algorithm Olaf created? Arrange the mathematical elements in proper order. Oh, how an integral? Jeez. So, following integral, what? The heck? Uh, it's no good. There's just not enough information here to solve this one yet. Oh, okay. Well, that makes that easier. <laughs> Oh, hello. This is odd. Why would an astronomer be studying psychology? Move the celestial bodies to their proper position in the cosmos. The large asteroid is in the way, but it can end up anywhere. Uh. Oh. Oh, I see. We're supposed to overlap them over there. Images. Okay. Uh, can I move this? Nope. Holy moly. Stupid asteroid. Earth wants to get around you. You're blocking the path, man. Put that in there and... Can't get out of there. Um... <laughs> Yikes. I don't like the look of this. Dude, I can't move the sun. How do I, uh, what do I, how do I get around this here? Unless... For it. Wait, wait. Ah. Uh, okay, you go over there. Alright, that'll work. That'll, that'll work. Except I need the earth on this side. Ugh. Unless. Hang on, hang on. Oh, uh. Let's move this freaking thing out of the way. Okay. Okay. Things are looking up. <laughs> Moving good over there, Cheshire Cat smile. Do it. They really crammed this guy's cabin with a lot of puzzles. Oh my god. That's it. But what does this have to do with his other research? Hmm. Looks like Olav was a fan of Galileo. Yeah, I could I could suspect that. It's focused on the moon just like Olav was. What does the moon have to do with Scoggins? Other than astronauts. Maybe that's... Maybe it's all connected. And a cucumber sandwich. Also, I've reached a remarkable breakthrough. A direct link between the phases of the moon and the disorders of the human mind. But seriously, about that sandwich. <laughs> yes, it's so simple. All of the moon's complex energies, electrical energy, in the brain and the lunatic, all interrelated, and all reduced to one beautiful, elegant formula. <laughs> Thank you, all of you. A song in celebration. <clears throat> La 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 la
the greatest finding in the history of astral psychology, and they claim my research has no scientific merit. But their loss. If NASA ignores my work, perhaps a private investor. NASA? If Olaf Velhoven's journal is to be believed, he made an incredible discovery. He's mathematically solved lunacy. What could be causing this headache? <sighs> Never mind. I've got to get back to Corcus and tell her what I've discovered. Love mathematically solve lunacy? How do you how do you solve lunacy? <laughs> well, at any rate, that's pretty uh, substantial. Okay. Uh, I think I'm just gonna end this part here, guys. So next time we'll head back to Corcus and see what she thinks about this whole um, space thing. <laughs> It's pretty weird, I gotta say. But, uh, this might be something major. Seems to tie the astronauts to, um, what's going on here. Perhaps. So, yep, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.